Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Mugen. Morning, Matt. Leaves. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> so this is the this is the news of today. Russia invades Ukraine. Right now, we are looking at uh, uh, China entered Taiwan's airspace. Right, so we know already uh, what uh, are the intention of China before with Hong Kong, then Taiwan, and uh, uh, this morning the market is simply uh, unwinding. Okay, so remember, market always react with instability and with panic when there's a war. So indexes uh, tend to go down, and over here we have, for example, uh, up left corner. Good morning, uh, Tibor, Gondola, John, Adele, OTC, Kenny, Franco. Good morning, everybody, guys. So you can see over here on the uh, left corner, we have ES, okay? You can use ES or NQ. Basically, it's more indicated if you trade uh, tech stocks to use NQ, uh, NQ, but I like to also look at nice stocks. So I tend to look at ES also because uh, Mabir trades this uh, future almost every single day. And uh, I like how it moves. It's uh, more, uh, it's a little bit slower. It's more, I would say, uh, analytic that NQ in the sense that is divided in quarters uh, every single point is 50 bucks with one contract contracts are pretty cheap right now as margin okay you only need a little bit more margin so a little bit more capital in your account if you have to overnight these uh, so uh, ES over here gave already two good JLM rejections as I said yesterday and I was saying this in uh, in the mentoring I'm not really looking to trade, you know, the bottoms over here of the move, but exactly when we start, you know, curling and going back over here. So this is uh, uh, ES. Again, market plummets, plummets. Then ES will be the guide for many of these stocks. In this case, I have over here uh, NVIDIA, I have PLTR, I have Tesla over here, and I also have Apple, my other monitors. Uh, then Baba, Python, and many others. On the other hand, you can see really the difference between this downtrend on ES and this uptrend on crude oil. Okay, so go back and check crude oil when it got to 148, 150 bucks. Depends if you are looking at uh, VTI or if you are looking at uh, CL. So it really depends uh, where, where uh, you are trading this. Uh, depends also if you had ETFs or, or others, but basically I always uh, refer to the futures because they predict a little bit uh, more than others. Over here, CL, which is NYMEX, light sweet crude oil. That's the uh, that's the the name, light sweet crude oil. Uh, then there's Brent. There's so many others. Depends also from the market. But over here you can see CL how is moving different. Really, it's the opposite of yes. Yes, over here, faded all the way down. CL basically uptrend. Good morning, Patrizia, Kat, welcome. Uh, Marcel, Unius, Jeremy, Vildes, uh, BD, uh, and uh, uh, Mike. So traders, look over here what the market is doing. Yes, it's going down. So I started uh, some position over here this morning already on uh, Tesla already on uh, Apple and already on NVIDIA. Uh, I started at 8 o'clock, very small feeler. Mavir got best uh, mm, averages over here at 7. I was still busy at 7. So you can see the push over the J lines and then perfect fade over here. Okay, this is a pop in field 7. The majority of the brokers open. Over here, pop and fill, the same time happened this, and the same time happened this over here. So it's not really hard. You can see the price shifting going over, and then over here, shifting below. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, this is what I'm looking. Uh, to answer very fast, Alvar, your questions. Uh, I was talking really last night with the next uh, JP Morgan uh, um, Prime trader okay uh head trader sorry and uh they basically manage a fund on um 
on gold miners companies, small cap gold companies, and also on uh, ETFs of gold. So like, you know, they have a fund right now. So we we're talking about a few things and was here like 1 p.m. East talking with them. And uh, personally, I look at GC. Okay, so on uh, on the futures, put the GC. Okay, on on over uh, here. Um, to watch the, st the the price of this, you have to put like this, this, and GC. This is the goal, okay? So you will see the goal comics. And uh, incredible tool, because look over here, the volatility, right? Went uh, almost up to day 80 points. Basically doing the same thing as CL. Then we can look at, you know, correlated sympathies. In this case, this can be uh, on CL, INDO, and IMPP, which are two small cap companies. Uh, INDO uh, is not going up. I'm going to post over here. Our, this is our exit rate. So let's put over here INDO. Because a lot of traders are asking me why this is going up. It's going up for the news of the company. I don't see any news. If I'm wrong, please uh, come out and tell me. I don't see any kind of uh, deal they made, but basically this is related to the strong move on CL. So especially, especially, right, the small market cap companies and the micro float companies, all right? In this case, we have a 56 million market cap and 1.58 or something like that. This is basically a a micro float, right? So this is why the stock is moving hard that much. The stock is up trending so strong over here. This morning, uh, it went from seven to 19. We saw a few traders took the long and then some traders uh, took the short. So it's uh, something that I suggest only to trade short for advanced traders. Uh, you can find a very good range. For example, OTC took a very good top over here this morning. Uh, but always be careful because you have to be, you know, advanced trader to take this stuff. You have to know in case you're wrong how to cut, how to uh, take the backside, know to read the tape or the flow and many other things. Uh, that would say the easiest way to trade this is like how I saw a few traders doing it. I posted before one, uh, I think. Yeah. And uh, you can see over here the J lines are going up are basically every single time the, the dip on this, right? and uh, until this point when they crack basically. Now we'll see over here if we're gonna have a reclaim, a curl above 15 and then another push up over here to the 17. I wanna really watch this this morning so I will basically focus myself on IMPP and INDO for the small cap class because we can have some very good opportunities. Look at the multi-day over here. This is a five minute chart so you can see the last three day three days on INDO. What you can see, the first thing, we had some uh, main resistance over here, okay? So you can see the top over here, the top over here. And yesterday, uh, the reason why we showed over here, because it was a, was a high liquidity zone, uh, Bookman was confirming, good extension. I shorted over there, then I covered over here, and then I reshot over here, and I share my chart uh, on um, with Bookman, and I show my chart on the, on the room. So I took two short over here. And then if you look at this, this is a big consolidation, right? Uh, let's do like this. Look what a big consolidation. So I don't know, okay, at this point. So yesterday evening when I went over here basically to sleep because I, as you know, I'm, I'm uh, located in, uh, in San Marino. I don't know at this point that there's gonna be a long over here. Nobody knows about it uh, because a lot of these, day two, they tend then to fade. I can only look at the, the place where situated right now the price action, which is in the mid range of this first range over here, right? This high and this bottom form a range. And then this range over here is basically replicated, uh, this high and this low. And it gets very, very tight. The price, for being a failure over here, Russ, Eric, Gary, Florida, Steven, follow me. The price should fall below this yellow line. And this, these all three bands that you have, the blue, the yellow, the, the purple over here, the magenta, they should fo follow the price and fail below the yellow. Do you see this? No. 
So that is the first idea that tells you, okay, if you're short of an eye, be careful because you know we can have a reversal. This morning, this came very early. It was not over here. It was uh, in the gym pushing, but I had from time to time. I, you know, I have my my mobile and I start looking at you know coins. I start looking at what the market is doing, and uh, I saw this bounce over here. This was my eleven o'clock. I saw this bounce, dip, and bounce and push. But I, but I simply waited. You know, I, I waited over here, and then it came over here. The we say the main breakout because this level you can see over here is this level of here so the main breakout level came right volume is relative low still pre-market relative low and then it consolidated and then consolidated more and then the big push over here really the big push came you can see it move from basically 10 bucks up over here almost to 20 so almost 100 percent move again why did that but, well check yes how it unwinded and check instead uh, CL how it uptrended. Okay, those are the two main uh, things that you have to look at. So over here we'll put back Nvidia. So right now, as I said, I have a starter position. Good morning, Satya. I have a starter position in Nvidia. A starter position over here. Oh, we'll put sorry ES over here. A starter position on Apple. A starter position on Tesla. Uh, and I will keep like that. We'll keep a starter position. All right. We'll keep a starter position. I don't have any position on CL. If you want to trade CL, if you want to trade futures, I mean, there are so many out there. Uh, M Future is good. Uh, Ninja Trader is good. It really depends. Okay. It really depends. Um, INDO, uh, if you want to look for INDO, in this case, I have a five minute chart over here. And then on the right, I have a one minute chart. I will keep this. On my watch list, uh, I will believe uh, probably all day. And I'm gonna put over here also book map. So we're gonna put INDO. So watching over here. In this case, Apple, I took a little bit more ad at 153.15 and 15 short. Let's see, INDO is ready. All right. So I traded the other day, asked me, Jay, I don't feel comfortable seeing these lines over here I get confused. So I will really suggest you to keep things very, very simple. Uh, you can change the colors over here. And I tell you what I believe it's, it's best you do. This is all just the MBBO, okay? So you can change the MBBO color. Uh, and uh, it's like if you trade uh, the, the level one, you know, uh, in this case. But you can see the main price section. Remember, Bookmap doesn't have ARC, but not for that is, uh, is not a good tool, uh, opposite. It really confirms a lot of my traders, my trades. Then we can filter size. For example, in something very liquid, uh, we'll put 10K or even 15K. In this case right now, uh, let's put 999. You can see we have very few lines. So I'm gonna put, because it's a liquid, only 499. Right, right now, I see that we have a main liquidity zone over here, 1350, which was that support. Then we have 1560, we have uh, 4,000. So we're talking about really small areas, then 1620, 1650. By doing like this, I can see where are the main orders placed, okay? So let's say I'm short and I see a good selling pressure. There's no reason for me to cover over here, to cover over here, to cover over here. I will be looking for this target, maybe 20 cents above that. Uh, Ross, Eric, Gary, Florida, Frank. Is it clear, guys? I'm just saying a few names, all right? Don't want to offend anybody. Good morning, Ryan. We will go uh, over that soon. Another thing is, um, let's look at Apple. 
And if you can use the same parameters over here on Apple, like I was using right now on INDO, or as I will be using on uh, IMPP, no, absolutely not. And it's very different between pre-market and I would say, thank you, Eric, uh, pre-market and trading hours. So in this case, pre-market would put something like 999, and then after the open, if it's very liquid like yesterday, thank you guys for answering, uh, I will put over here a uh, 2000 or 1999. Uh, so we can see, for example, in Apple, we have a support 153, resistance 154, a little bit more resistance over here. On the right, you can see I have the cumulative volume, right? So you can see, th uh, for example, we have a main resistance 155, and then I can do the same on Tesla. But again, these uh, parameters that I'm putting right now, I will need to modify them when the market opens, because I know already, uh, besides some, uh, I would say, particular situation, I know how much heat map I have to put in order to, for me to have, uh, I would say, the most comfortable scenario to trade. Again, over here, Tesla and Apple, both 499. After the open, could be 999, or if it's very liquid, uh, could be something like, uh, uh, 2000 over here let's put in the pre-market maybe 99 okay let's put this 99 so bounce in this case of yes and you can see how nvidia works pltr works tesla works and also apple works okay so we're having this uh over under right now Also traders, uh, especially for beginners, but also for other traders who want to, to improve, uh, go to the trading guide on our Discord room. And uh, I'm updating uh, the setups that we've been trading. Uh, there's a video over here of uh, Sean on the late day fade, uh, how to trade longs in this market, how to trade longs in this market, uh, how to short instead uh, small caps, uh, how to longs over here small caps and then over and over and over uh, you have I would say new content to study uh, and the setups that we trade in room because everything we trade is based on a playbook on a setup a few times we'll see also that I trade something maybe out of the of my watch list or out of my I would say usual setups because I I maybe look something on the tape uh, I know maybe how to read the price section pretty good or is a stock that I trade in the past. So, for example, I could trade a uh, daily rejection or I could trade a uh, stuff or a gap and extension or an extension play or an over under that it maybe is not, you know, perfect by rules uh, only because, you know, I have more experience so I can risk a little bit more and I know how to manage the situation. But I would always say start trading the playbook. Trade one or two setups the most then become good, make practice on that. And when you're good, then you can add something more to, to the plan. So, bounce in the meantime of INDO. So you can see right away, we have a pull. On yes, we have a fade over here on CL. They are moving totally opposite, opposite. And then of course, you will see right now over here, IMP, INDO, and you will see IMPP moving down while Tesla, Nvidia, PLTR, Apple, and so on, and so on, tech stocks will bounce. So 
So uh, any futures, uh, sorry, any um, crypto traders over here, Morning Zach, Kush. Any crypto trader. It depends, you know, market is always unpredictable. So I always learn not to make any kind of, uh, to not have any kind of bias, but trade what the market gives me. If it's a bounce, good. I'm gonna trade some J-line curl up long. But we, I would be really surprised. I would be really surprised. But you know, what I said, market is unpredictable. So you always have to be ready because maybe everybody expects something and the market will act totally in a different way. This is what I learned in many years of trading. You know, and never be over bias. You can have a bias, but that's even good because it makes you prepare a plan, but you cannot over bias, overly biased. So we have some crypto investors over here. Okay. So again, we're getting to the to the same consideration we've been doing like since many months. Uh, price was going up over here. This is a weekly chart, okay? And this is what I've been saying, what I've been writing on socials, what I've been sharing over here in the room in the streaming. So we had the first push on BTC, okay? And I will tell you, you know, I'm not I'm a Bitcoiner for the sense that this uh, technology is really a game changer. Uh, I don't like that, you know, the governments make us pay so many taxes. I think it's really unfair. But you know what I think? Market doesn't give a fuck. So the world. And uh, I don't say that you have to invest all your money. For me, it's always to invest what you're able to afford to lose. And now you'll tell me, Jay, I'm not afford to lose nothing. Nobody is, a, is uh, inclined to lose. Nobody wants to lose. But of course, that doesn't have to be the money that, for example, go for the college or for a surgery that you have to have. That's a point, okay? For example, you make 10K extra cash in a year, then I would suggest you to invest that, okay? That's a point. So uh, when this went all the way up, and let's not take, you know, the dip over here at 5,000 bucks, but let's think, for example, I really will tell you how this market works and how you can make your paycheck. That's a point. You buy over here. Let's say you buy over here. Uh, over here, we had the uh, Jalen's dip, I can tell you, on the daily. So we buy over here. Uh, you put your stop. So basically, you're buying over here at 33,000. You're risking, let's say, 29, 2950. And then it pushed up. And over here, you have basically a gain, let's say, of around 100%. Trust me, it's impossible that you will sell over here at the top. Sometimes you'll sell partial before, then you will sell maybe something here, then something down here, and then maybe something down here, or you will even hold because you think this will go up to 100K because everybody, even your neighbor that he only likes to, I would say, watch football games and drink his beer on the Sundays, tells you that he bought over here Bitcoin at 50,000, it feels very comfortable, that he will become a millionaire and then switch to a new television. Market doesn't work like that. So instead of buying all Bitcoin, and this is a little bit more risky, okay? So you need two things, blood and guts. Means you have to have cards to invest and to risk in order to make money. Now, I always say this is not financial advisor. So read the disclosure. This is basically what I'm doing. Therefore, what I do, I go to check those smaller uh, market cap coins, okay? Not companies, coins that are basically trending and moving as Bitcoin. And we have so many. For example, we can have uh, over here Ripple. We can have over here Link. We can have over here Polkadot. We can have over here Matic. So some of those coins that have a very big project for the future and that you believe in their utility. This is the first thing you can do. So when over here you have Bitcoin and moves, for example, from this dip to the top 100%, those coins, everything that is not a Bitcoin, so it's alternative, is called altcoin, will move three, four, five, ten per, okay? Uh, then you will see different sec sectors of the coins, right? So you'll, for example, see uh, mining coins, you will see other uh, type of utility coins, you will see the metaverse coins, you will see, for example, the DeFi, the ecosystem like Solana, 
and for example Ethereum. So many of these, okay? And you have to look, the ones that on the move of Bitcoin give you the majority of percentage of return. For example, you'll see coins that if Bitcoin moves 100%, let's say, coin moves over here, let me put this, Bitcoin moves 100%. And then you have your coin move 50%. It's not good. And not even if they have a very uh, great utility and anything in this world, I will never, never, never purchase that. If we have a coin instead that will move maybe like 250%, then I'm inclined to trade this, okay? And I won't believe this maybe in the next 15, 20 years is the best coin to hold for the long term. But for my hit and run, for our speculation, that's as good, okay? Can you see here the difference traders in, about what we're talking? So we're not talking about only investing, we're talking about the return, so speculation. When it came down here, all right, in August, remember Zuckerberg came over here talking about the metaverse, okay, around this, this time over here. And then over here you had Sandbox, Mana, Axie Infinity, Vulcan Forge, Illuvium that went like, uh, from 40 bucks, 30 bucks, up until I think was 1,700 bucks. So something crazy, okay, crazy. So I start looking for these dips over here. But these dips is not, oh, it gets over here. Oh, let me buy because of the J-Lines, okay? No, that's a brain fart. You're looking for ideally these dips to start for a nibble, with a nibble, with a feeler, and then you start to see in patterns. For example, on the day trading chart, or the hourly chart. And then you can do the same thing over here, and then you can do the same thing over here. The point is, I tried to measure these extensions, okay? So I came to the conclusion that the market is always cyclical over here, even Bitcoin, because this is the long term, and this is what the Bitcoin is basically sometimes doing, okay? With more, I would say, wicks than uh, some other stocks, but basically this is what it's doing. So you cannot look only at the daily chart, look at the monthly, look at the weekly chart. It's very interesting to see the main patterns. And what you can see over here, trend is up. Why? J lines one over here is above the J lines two. Okay, basically this above this means bullish. Tibor, is it clear this, Baja? Marcel? Emil, good morning. Just give me a yes or a no if it's not clear. Okay, McLovin is saying over here, yes. Okay, only McLovin understood. Good. I think we have to restart my view from the beginning. Yeah. Absolutely. Chris Wilkins, Chris Wilkins, I know he understood. He understands even before I talk. Matt understood, Tibor for writer. Okay. Okay. So getting to this point, if I have only to look at this chart, I have uh, a bias for long, bullish in the long term. Okay. But I want to show you something. So remember, this is the one minute J lines, the, sorry, the J lines one, let's call it like this. And this is the J-Lens 2, Marcel, Iceman, Eric, Kate, Mary. Right, so remember that. The price for now only got to the J-Lens 1, correct? And from the J-Lens 1 went over here from 30 up to, let's say, 65. I know it went more, but let's say 65. So basically over here, a uh, something like a 100% move. This 100% in many coins, in many small altcoins, which are basically, I would say, some only to do a hit and run, Thank you, Tibor and Salvis, Salvik, to, to, to tell me yes. Uh, they, mo they move like three, five per, some even 10 per, okay? So you get all this, all right, 100%, and you have to invest over here, if you wanna make, let's say, one full Bitcoin, you have to invest, let's say, 30,000. While other coins that maybe made three or four per, you just need to invest like three or four K, okay, to have that 300%. Of course, you can invest less, I will never invest in those altcoins, something like I invest in Bitcoin. Let's say in Bitcoin, I want to invest 100K. On altcoins, I will divide them. I will do maybe like 5K, 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 5K. 
all right? Because I know that a lot of these, I don't know if it's 80, 70, 60, whatever, will go to zero or will lose like we'll say uh, uh, price uh, with time. But now look over here. Now let's look over here. What happened? Let's see if it can load over here. Okay, no more data, but for example, on TradingView, you can have more data. Or let's see over here, maybe I have to find Nathan Kraken. Uh, let's see if I can find Bitcoin historical, Bitcoin historic. No, over here we have not that. Bitcoin Rublo, no, I don't want that now. No, and you cannot find it as, for example, you have on TradingView. Anyways, let's go back. And you see this huge uptrend over here, okay? So it seems like a small move because now you know that it went to 65K, 67K. But over here you see this big move, okay? So you see the price that went basically from uh, what? 1,000 bucks up until over here, 20,000 bucks, okay? So 2,000% uh, move, well, not bad, right? 1,000 bucks to 20,000 bucks is a 2,000% move. And it came to the JLens one, okay? Came to the JLens one. So you're basically saying right now, fuck, came JLens one, I wanna buy, because this is like August of 2021, went from 30 to 65. No, in this case, it went from uh, 6K to 10K, so almost that, uh, we say 100%, almost, right? 80%, something like that. Then it went down. So basically right now, we are over here. If you look at the price, where we are on the Bitcoin right now, Okay, versus the J lines, it's some similar pattern like this because you know that we're breaking down those J lines on the weekly. Now over here, what happened next? J lines too, and this is where, even if we touch, I will start taking one fourth of my position, blind, boom, in. I don't give a damn. I, at this point, I want to hold, and then I know we can have more dips. But when I start curling that back on over here, and I will refer to a daily chart. And I have also my trading system that I made with TradingView. They gave me 14,000%, okay, in, in and outs, in and outs, in and outs, in the last uh, 10 years now, 10 years and a half. So I'm looking to add more position. The same thing you can see over here, went to push, 100% move, actually was more, came back to the J lines one, and then again, boom, J lines two, boom, I'm buying one fourth, closing my eyes, buying it over here. I don't even think about it. All right, and then you can see this big consolidation. Basically, this consolidation that you see right now is the same that you saw. Get it, okay? Just like pass it. It's just like INDO did the last two days. The same exact consolidation, right? Extension, dip, consolidation, more, boom, push, breakout this morning. And then we have this push. So if we go back over here, and now you are, I would say, knowledgeable trail because you saw what happened in the past, and you have a clear point of reference, in this case, you have the JLens, right? You can use sometimes even the 200, the five, whatever, but these, this is what I'm using. So you can see over here, we are cracking. So I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not that trader that tells you, oh, this will go like down 80%, 70%, of, of course, no. I'm telling you what the pattern is trading, the pattern in trading over here is telling me. We're breaking down this bear flag. We're breaking down the JLens weekly. The next target is first 32, if we break the 32, will be this level over here. So it's like even I want the price to go over here because what I saw in the last 11 years, when it gets here or a little bit lower, then I have this. And over here it can last even two years. So when those rally traders who called over here 100K, for me, knows nothing about trading. Okay, nothing. Okay, nothing, nothing. And, uh, Everybody can be wrong, but some people only want to know, have like the follow or pay maybe uh, for from some altcoins to pump or whatever. I don't like that. I really hide that. So I will just be honest with you. I'm telling you what my trading system is telling me. When I'm telling that I will get in and I still didn't get in over here from over here till here, I still didn't get in for the long term. I still didn't get in for the long term. Okay, so I'm still waiting. You can day trade five minutes, hourly, four hours, whatever you want, but it's still not a long confirm for the long term. Everybody over here was telling, now they shut up, they don't say anything anymore. This was a very long, big setup for them to take the long, my ass. 
Anyways, this is the point, okay? So be knowledgeable, don't follow anybody. You have to make your rules, you have to follow your patterns, you have to back test and see if you're right or wrong. When you're wrong, just like me many times, say yes, be humble, we can always improve, we can always learn, we can always make things better, okay? When you are instead just like cocky, you know everything, you won't go anywhere in life and all the doors will be closed, right? So get down from your king seat and start really being humble. That's the point. Uh, weekly is like this. If you get over here to the daily, now you can see things better. Just focus on the last two charts, right? Uh, these two charts over here. Okay, so try to focus on this series. Over here we have a daily and over here we have hourly. So the other day, uh, a trader over here, he, it's actually is a friend of mine, invest in, uh, in crypto over here, considerably pretty good. He bought one million of land in the metaverse. Don't ask me if that's a good idea or not, right? Don't ask me if that's a good idea or not. But he bought, he bought a one million in the metaverse. And uh, I'm saying one thing over here, guys. I'm saying one thing. And let me do this. Okay. J lines one, below J lines two. What I told you before, what I told you before, I told you traders, if, 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 if we are looking for a short, J lines one has to be below J lines two, and for the long, J lines one have to be above J lines two. Okay. So in this case, we have a pattern for the short side. And I was listening really so many people out there. And they have a big, 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 pretty ego saying, let's buy over here. Let's buy the long came, the long triggered. Boom. Buy 45, down 32 over here. Okay. And then you, you, you think who to trust. I'm not saying to trust me at all. No, far from that. Okay. But my trading system works simply good. That's the point. And that's what I'm teaching. Over here, you can see the last patterns I called this a few days ago because I said this is an inside A, inside bar, it's inside A as well. Rejecting the Zealand's beautiful short pattern. You can look to trade your futures over here. We went from 42 down to this dip almost at 32. Not bad, right? Not bad. And now it's bouncing. And I heard everybody saying again, oh, this is a dip buy, this is a dip buy. I think I heard, I really would like to be. Listen to these people, how big is their account? Because they, they started to buy over here when it was 65. And now we are basically at the half, 50% less. So I don't know really how can uh, people still follow. Okay, that's the point right now, traders. That's the point. Any question on Bitcoin? Let's see, Matt, where I say everyone knew what we were doing, we were just showing 45, was a clear on the daily chart trend. Exactly, buddy. Just the majority of the people that trade uh, cryptos, and in this particular case scenario, Bitcoin, only because they see Bitcoin, they think this is to buy, you know? It's like if you, 
if you go to the ice cream shop and you see an ice cream, everybody thinks, so oh, because it's an ice cream, you just have like to buy it and eat it. You don't know that the ice cream sometimes can be whole, can be junk, can be shitty, cannot be ready, can be like uh, melting down, can be like uh, maybe it's sitting there like four or five days sitting. So they're not that necessary. You have an ice cream, this is something to buy, okay, or to eat. The same thing over here in Bitcoin, right? I can give you my, I will say, my, my exotic car, whatever, and I can give you like for free uh, to pay the exact price that I pay to pay three times more. So it really depends on timing, okay? It really depends on timing. Gold is good to hold, but not if I will buy gold at three times the price that I, I can sell it right now. That's the point. That's the point. So always learn, traders, the importance of, you know, the exchange in the market, okay? All right. So I think we covered some very good stuff this morning, Bitcoin. And because this is uh, a trading exactly like the tech stocks right now, Bitcoin fading, Tesla fading. So uh, this morning over here, yes is my guide. We got to this low. Now it's bouncing. We're still in a bear trend over here. I have still a feeler over here, this level, 208 on NVIDIA. I have a feeler over here at 9.60 on uh, PLTR. I have a feeler over here at uh, 703 and over here on uh, Tesla. I'm holding very small feelers. Uh, my beer has all feelers over here at seven o'clock. So a little bit higher than me over here, over here, over here. So what I'm looking for, yes, will fail. Then I'm looking for very, very simple. I'm looking for a fill on NVIDIA. I'm looking for a fill on PLTR, Tesla, and Apple. Yes, will bounce, then I will trading probably nothing. And only, only, only if we're gonna have, a, I would say an afternoon reversal, I will retake short. What I'm looking at is the breakdown of this support. Okay, so I wanna see a breakdown of this level over here, 4,100. And then I'm looking for this, this, and this. I'm always looking for two main things that open. One, very active trade in the first five minutes. So taking, for example, Tesla, right? This is my favorite. I trade it almost every day. Or if I don't trade it, my beer trade it. Uh, here we are. So right now, price is above J lines. You can see it, right? So what I'm going to do over here, two ways, and this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the pre-market uh, pre resistance. So I'm going to do this together with you so you can know exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm looking for, this is the trend of yesterday. Okay. Then over here, we can do like this. Let's just go to a four hour chart. You can see that the trend is simply below over here, the, the J lines, right? I can start putting a main support level down here. Okay, this is the main support where we started the reversal. Okay, this is an important edge over here. And then I can see a micro support over here, at this level, why? Because we bounced a couple of times. And over here we had also a rejection. So this is an important level. And then of course we have more levels. You can find so many levels as you want, but I'm looking for you know the most important ones like this one. And you can see we had the reversal, we had the reversal, we had the reversal, a bounce, a reversal over here, a breakdown. So these are my main levels right now. First thing. Second thing, I go to the one minute chart or the five minutes, all right? You can trade basically whatever you prefer. You can trade the one, you can trade the five, whatever. So I'm looking for this kind of scenario. Now I'm going to put the pre-market highs. So in this case, this level over here. And I'm going to look for three main patterns. So look with me. First pattern, number one. This is what I'm going to do on everything, all right? So look over here, Matt. I'm looking for pre-market high push, stuff, unwind. This has to happen the first between three and five minutes. So over here we have sellers. Over here we have five minute J lines. Pattern is a pop and fail, all right? So I'm looking to start a feeler over here. And then I'm looking for below J lines to take the first pop over here. Okay, because we're opening above the J lines. So that's my main play. 
The second play is simply waiting for the break of the pre-market high, looking for a dip over here into J lines later, and then taking a long on a J line curl. To long this, I need the price to be above over here the five minute J lines and the 7.30, otherwise nothing. And the majority of the best trades uh, in this market happen after midday. So at the first 30 minutes, unless I have that pop, I'm not gonna short it. I'm not gonna trade it long. The third one is a push, midday, afternoon fade, starting to fill over here. First of all, find where we have that pre-market low, starting to take a feel over here, like yesterday before pre-market low, and then below pre-market low and starting to take JLM rejection. This is what the market is doing. Why the market is doing that? Because often we have uncertainty in the morning. This is what happened yesterday morning. That's the reason why I suggest always not to trade the first 30 minutes unless you're a fast trader. For example, Matt over here, Matt M, you can trade this stuff. He's super fast, okay? You can take this trade over here, go to the bathroom, drink a martini, and then get back before he gets to break even. This is him. I don't know if he can do something also in the meantime, but that's him. I'm a little bit uh, slower than him, so I may be short, stay at the computer, and then get out break even, all right? Uh, my mom is uh, maybe faster than me, so she can trade better the open. Then we have this range in pre-market. So simply wait that we are out of this range, and then, for example, we have a rejection of this range, you can start taking your first feel over here. And then whenever you will have like patterns or touch into the day lines, you can start trading more size. Just wait the first 30 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever. Wait for that range break, okay? Now, Tesla was the best one of all of these yesterday. Best than everything else. So we had the perfect general rejection. Market really started to shift over here. Fast over here. Uh, break of the low and then simply got to unwind. All right? That's a good move, Eric. That's a good move, buddy. Really like it. Um, this is for Tesla. So we're gonna keep Tesla over here. As I said, I'm still holding uh, a feeler short Tesla, PLTR, NVIDIA, and Apple over here. Now, I wanna continue to follow this on a one minute. I just need to switch over here to the one minute. You see what my tab's above. And there we are. So ES will be the main guy. Now, looking at IMPP, Looking at IMPP, looking at INDO, remember we have uh, energy stocks or oil companies, whatever you prefer. So how to trade these traders? CL is the guide. CL fails, probably IMPP, INDO will fail. Why? Because IMPP, uh, more INDO, I'm saying with INDO personally for me, but it's up on no news only because it's a micro float we have a relative high amount of short sellers from yesterday holding and basically it's moving with volume with momentum uh with uh, pumps also i believe from chat rooms and therefore if now indo gets to the 17 over here 1780 area which is my golden zone all right so you can see in this chart if we get to this area or this area i'm looking to short this I'm not really looking to short this area over here, okay? Uh, this morning, we had some opportunities for the longs over here. Right now, I'm not looking too long. Um, IMPP, I can cover also that. One minute, there we are. IMPP, we are ready the five minute J lines, expecting ideally for a bounce, this level ideally for my short or the pre-market high okay all right now let's do like this traders let's start putting our levels so here russian bay ukraine we know it i condemn always the wars but anyways Seven minutes ago, UN refugees agency steps up operation Ukraine neighboring countries. The worst thing about wars is, you know, like civilians, first of all, 
and then also the escalation. That really is a, is a problem, escalations. Okay. So we're going to keep over here IMPP. We're going to keep all these stocks because I want to see all these stocks right now. Okay. I have INDO, IMPP, CL Futures, Yes Futures, MVDA, PLTR, Tesla. Why I put PLTR? Because a lot of traders who can afford to trade big caps, uh, I would say uh, high, high dollar prices companies, PLTR is a very good tool, a lot of liquidity, a lot of, I would say, volatility. So that's a very good tool to trade PLTR, all right? Okay. Now, Bear, any consideration? You're always pretty quiet. Uh, not for now. I'm going to let you do all the talking. So levels over here on uh, INDO. I would probably need to change the filter over here after the open. For now, I put uh, 500, but I believe I will need to put more than 2,000. Remember, this is a micro flow. can push very strong. Okay, trader. So ten minutes to go. I will connect now to the Zoom session on uh, for members. Remember, you still have two days for the promo. It's uploaded on the uh, on socials. You have a fifteen percent on the trading course plus the trading chat room included. Uh, see you in the room, traders. Thank you for the good morning. I think we went over very good what the market is doing right now, how to react, Bitcoin and altcoins. Thank you. See you soon.